All right. Now we're doing 7Q Next Element Generator. This is by Chronicum. And 83% of the people like it. So in this kata, we're going to learn how to build JavaScript generators functions. Yeah, I've never seen... Uh, maybe we've done one video on these before, but that's out of like, what, 700 maybe right now? Who knows? Uh, anyway, so generators are functions that can be exited and later re-entered. Their, their context will be saved across re-entrances. We're going to be calling a generator function. Oh my goodness! Uh, calling a generator function does not execute its body immediately. An iterator object for the function is returned instead. All right. So we're going to build a generator function which gets called with an array, and we're only going to be passing an array with numbers, and it will never be empty. So basically, what we're going to do is like we're going to have like a generator dot next, and it's going to come up with one, two, three, four, five, all the way down the list in whatever array, array it's given. So each next call on the return iterate, iterator object should generate the next element in the previously given array with length n. If it gets called more than n times, we're not going to return undefined. Instead, we're just going to start it over again. Gotcha. All right, and here's something about generators. It's basically uh, this thing right here. All right, so this... Uh, Basically, whenever we see a star after a function, after it says function, it's going to be a uh, declaration for generator functions, which return generator objects, which is what that guy just uh, said, basically. So this one, is, this video is basically just 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 showing us that these exist. It's this thing doesn't really get too deep into how we would apply it, but maybe we'll see some stuff later. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, while this thing is true. So while this thing exists, while there's an array there or whatever, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of using return, uh, these uh, element generator, these generator uh, functions use this yield thing. And they specifically use this, this one specifically going to use this yield with a star after it which is used to delegate another generator or iterable object. It's basically like using a for loop, but we don't have to use it. It just knows automatically it's going to do what a for loop would do. Uh, so what we're going to do is say yield, and what we're going to yield with the star after it, that's not the star, array, just like that. And this should work. Let's test it out. All right, and there we go. So hopefully later we'll see more of these uh, with more practical applications so that we can maybe get inspired to do cooler things. But at the moment, this is uh, what we got to remember, I guess. Uh, let's attempt it. And there we go and submit it. All right. And as you see right here, pretty much exactly what we just did. Uh, down here, instead of doing the uh, yield with the star next to it, they did the yield like this. And I guess that's what happens when you don't use the star. You have to do like, uh, you have to say array at whatever the current index that we're looking for or something like that. And then here's one and then you just keep going down and you can see all kinds of stuff. Let's go to mine. Uh, just me and these folks, best practice in my opinion, very much like it. And we'll see you next time.